setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Miller. Shots good by Miller. And, and that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Here's Jones and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Manu Ginobili, Hall of Fame class of 2022. He played his entire career in San Antonio. And in 2003, Manu's rookie season, we won a ring together. And see Manu as a rookie, Smitty, what were your early impressions? Well, the first thing that comes to mind, Kevin, he was unpredictable. He was definitely NBA ready. He had already been a pro for seven years before he came over. And he played an important role for us winning that title. Here's Jones following the basket by LaMelo Ball. Outside, Jones. Lock at six. Pass to Vissel. Lets it go with a three. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Showing off his accuracy. Vassell putting up a smooth shot from the arc. Johnson over to help. Miller with a wide open look. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Johnson outside. Right side, Jones. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Miller ball. Now we'd like to take this moment to show you the teams that a year ago made a trademark of scoring points off turnovers. In third, the Hornets. And this team, in terms of scoring off of turnovers, that, that became the identity. I mean, they really look to disrupt and cause problems defensively. And boy, do they take advantage on the other end. You know, for so long, many joked about how the Spurs were always too old, right? Too old, too slow, too stuck in their same ways. Uh, but that's changing. Well, I was on a couple of those teams too, Kevin. I remember well, people said that the Spurs were too old and needed to get younger. And over the last few years, they've done exactly that. And this is why Rozier is out there. Uh, he knows he has the trust of his teammates to take that shot. And there is the foul. It's on Miles Bridges. Miles Bridges. That's his first foul. And now only one away from being in the field. Now, here's Vassell. Rogier defending. Gwen Banyama gets the bucket. And it's seven points for prime time. And here's Rogier. He brings it up for Charlotte, trailing by four. And the rejection by Collins. Ball against Jones. Pass to Gwen Banyama. Williams with the clock, and it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Williams. Into the lineup for your Spurs, Sohan. Here's Wem Banyama. He has seven, and he goes right over Miles Bridges and slams it down. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Here's Wimbanyama. Can't connect from short range. Hornets trail by four. On the wing, Rogier. A three-pointer, no good. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. And Banyama, oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And that's what he does. I mean, he is a bucket getter. Back to ball. For the three. That's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. Ball's got his second bucket of the night. And Ball continues to show he can drain threes. The defense must adjust or he is going to keep doing damage. Now here's Jones. Inside. And it's Sohan missing. Spurs foul. And some changes here for the Hornets. Nick Richards, he's checked in for Williams. B.J. Washington comes in for Bridges. And Gordon Hayward is subbed in for Miller. 
in transition. Here come the Spurs. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And checking out the stats for LaMelo Ball. Last season, he played outstanding. Around 20 points per game last season. Seven assists and six rebounds. But to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. Because he gives you someone to build your offense around. You can count on his nightly production. So Charlotte calls timeout. They're first. And Devontae Graham's skills as a three-point marksman are impressive. G.A., the stat she says it all. Multiple seasons he's been in the top 20 for three-point makes. And he loves to find those daggers from three. Now here's Hayward. Over to the wing. The three. And Sumner gets it to go. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Graham against Ball. Graham surveying the floor. Shock up two there. And the Spurs lead by four. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Ball with a wide open look and a miss there on the triple. For San Antonio, they've gone 8 of 14 from the field in the first quarter. Passes it to Wembanyama. And a missed layup. Hornets trail by four. Outside, ball. Three-pointer. A rebound by the Spurs. A shot that time, not on target. Hayward with some nice D. Here's Sumner. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. Sumner's got six. This is the patience we talk about. Hayward waiting that extra half second. Finds the open man. Here's Graham. The layup off target. Charlotte has gone four of eight on their three-point attempts, doing a lot of work from way outside here in the first quarter. It's so hard to keep the defense honest when you miss wide open looks like that. There's the pass to Sohan. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. DJ Washington. First personal foul. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for the Spurs. Right out of the gates, they've been in attack mode. And I think that's by design because it has been relentless. And I also have to bring up their passing game. They've been moving the ball with great precision so far and creating great looks for their teammates. San Antonio making a switch here. Bassey's checked in. And the Spurs with possession. Following the bucket by the Hornets. Graham, the pass to Bassey. Here's Sohan. Six on the shot clock. No good off the back of the rim. Not sure if that's the shot you were looking for, but it's a fairly clean look. Almost have to take it. All by himself. Yeah. Throws down the breakaway jam. And that's up-tempo basketball at its best. So much easier to operate the open court when a steal triggers the break. Now here's Hayward. No points in the game yet for him. And then Washington with the dunk. A little undersized at the four, but he can get off the ground. And so Graham will bring it up for San Antonio. They trail by one. There's 37 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. San Antonio needs to get off a shot here. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. This is what we talk about, valuing each possession, avoiding those kinds of mistakes. And looking at that replay again, just a big time block right there. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. San Antonio again turning it over. Four. 
12 seconds left to play in the first. The 11-footer, and no good. And here is Graham. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. And indeed, they're going to look at it again. They need to be certain he beat the buzzer. And even though, you know, you're thinking maybe we don't need the replay in a situation like this, still plenty of time left in this game, and really it's about getting the call right. And they're keeping the call as is. It was close, but he had not released it before the clock had expired. Yeah, still better safe than sorry. And at the end of one, both teams putting up some points. Hornets on top. They lead by three. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of the spring. And this has been a fairly close game to the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for Sean. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. And they are also just outworking the opposition in transition. When the break is on, they've continued to find ways to score. Sharing the wing spots, it's Vassell and Johnson. Then it's Jones, then it's Collins, and it's Bassey in at the four-man position. So that's who San Antonio starts the second round. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Now, you may not know this, but Gordon Hayward was a two-time Indiana State singles champion in tennis. He says, in high school, I was better at tennis than basketball, but I've always loved hoops more. Thankfully, I was able to grow throughout high school to get to the frame I have now. He has certainly filled out in the NBA. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, he sure has. He's been a terrific player to watch and follow. The injury is significant, but he continues on. David, thanks. And once Rozier spots that hole in the defense, he just doesn't hesitate. Just sends the ball to an open shooter. Outside, Jones. Pass to Bassey. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. Excellent D there from Williams. Tipped away. Now here's Rogier. Left side Williams. Five to shoot. You know, Greg, we know to win the highest level, you need your star players to show up in the big game. With that in mind, what's the key? You know, it, it's their will and their ability to fight. If you look at the great ones, even when things haven't gone their way, they continue to scratch and claw and do everything in their power to try and get the W. Prime time's checked in for San Antonio. And it's Miller with the jam. You gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right, and that's severe punishment right there. We talk about it time and time again. Turnovers are costly, especially when the game is close. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. The 10th pick in the 2017 draft. Zach Collins has battled through multiple injuries. That held him to play just under 185 games in his first five seasons. Pass to Rozier. Bridges outside. Ball's not loose. In transition, here come the Spurs. The feed to Johnson. And stolen by Miller. Here's Sumner. And he slams it down right on top of Keldon Johnson. Miller. Wow. And that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg. That is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point. Maybe even a question mark. And with Collins, it's tough to, to develop as a player when you're constantly rehabbing from injury. Thankfully, he's young and still has upside. Great Kevin, goal. when healthy, though, he Chris has shown Chris to be a five. solid defender. Second and with his three-point shot, he can bring value as a stretch five. 
Here's Bridges, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Yeah, the confidence Bridges plays with really admirable. This guy knows he has the talent to compete in the NBA. Greg, you've been talking about the best conditioned players in the league, and Miles Bridges is right up there. Yeah, Miles second in total minutes played during the 21-22 campaign. Only Mikael Bridges, no relation, played more. Here's Wimbanyama. That shot missing. Good D by Williams. Hornets leading by five. Bridges outside. And the Hornets miss again. Spurs have gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Johnson kicks to Vassell. Off target from outside. Uncontested look. Can't fault the shot selection. He's money from there. Here's Rozier. San Antonio with the rebound. Ben Banyama has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Vassell. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. A lottery pick. Devin Vassell has turned into a big-time talent. Someone who will be a force in this league for years to come. Vassell hits them both. A tight game here in San Antonio. And that'll be game one of a four-game road trip. And there's the call on Jones. That's foul number two for him. And that's foul number two. And maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up the limit. And being over the limit this early really can affect your aggressiveness defensively. They have got to play under control. And for Terry Rozier, all of his efficiency numbers are way up the last couple years. Here's a guy who's just 37% from the field during this time in Boston. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. And the numbers of Terry Rozier, as you mentioned, they're getting better bit by bit, Greg. Scary Terry's three-point shooting is way up, and that helps big time. With, with experience, Rozier isn't forcing things offensively, becoming a much better decision maker. Spurs trail by five. Jones with it. Right wing. Vassell, the pass to Jones. Back to Vassell. Kicks to Jones. Shot clock at six. Launches it. San Antonio again missing. Over in the corner, Rogier. And it's off from three-point range. He really can't buy a bucket, but his teammates have his back. Goes up at the stripe. Here's Collins. And finished off by Collins. That's why you never quit battling on the offensive glass. And that's a nice reward for his effort. Uh, the flush, perfect. Working hard, beating everyone to the ball. He does this night in and night out. Bridges passes to Miller, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And he's got his first free throw of the game. First free throw is good. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. And some changes here for the Hornets. Nick Richards, he's checked in for Williams. Washington comes in for Bridges, and Gordon Hayward is subbed in for Rozier. Ended by Hayward to the wing right side. Collins against Miller. Collins passes to Wembanyama. And that one, good. 13 points for prime time. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Passes to Miller. Charlotte moving it around. Here's Washington. And once again, off the mark by Charlotte. And mark that one down right there. It's going to be a long time until we see him miss another one like that. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Lamelo ball. He's checked in for Edmund Sumner. 
Charlotte trailing. Ball, the pass to Miller. And the call will be against primetime. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. The Hornets have gone five of eight from the charity stripe here tonight. At the line for two. Both free throws good for Miller. And so Graham will bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. He dishes it to Collins. Excellent D there from Ball. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. For Charlotte, they have shot 70% from the free throw line tonight. 7 for 10. Yeah, last year, collectively, only 74% from the line. Both good from the line that time. Spurs trail by three. Now Graham. Down low. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. With how dangerous Graham is scoring it, that opens things up for the screener. Nine feet out. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Second person. Yeah, easy call. The Hornets have been shooting right around 75% of the line. Nine of 12 so far. Two shots. Hayward hits them both. And how about the winning mindset Hayward brings to this team? He's done it at every level. Just goes out and competes. Graham, the pass to Collins. Knocks it loose. Ball feeling it out a bit. Shoots the three. A rebound by the Spurs. Collins has got six rebounds here tonight. The pass to Sohan. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. The Spurs have shot the ball pretty well from the line going 8 of 11. And they were 75% from the line a season ago. The Spurs making a switch here. Passes checked in. Pass to Washington. And then Washington with the dunk. Kevin, he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, Greg, he can get up a few notches higher. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. After winning the 2021 Rookie of the Year, the mellow ball is even better. His sophomore campaign, he continues to grow his game. Vassell, he's checked in for Collins. Here's Vassell. He's got five to the inside. Sohan, and that's in. Nice feet on the play. Sohan's got six points in the quarter. And for LaMelo Ball's second year break, where did you see him improve the most? I think taking on more of a scoring load, the ball's points per game were significantly up. But LaMelo also improved his three-point and free-throw shooting numbers. So rounding out that offensive game will be important. Stolen away. Covered by Miller. Pass to Bassey. 133 left in the first half. Passes it to Sohan. And it's San Antonio with another. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And it's the cell with the foul. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. This is his first free throw of the game. And he was dialed in at the line a season ago. 87% from the line. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Covered by Miller. The pass to Osman. Just five to shoot. Here's Vassell. Sinks the three-pointer. Vassell's got eight points. A lot of Vassell's buckets come off assists. He's very comfortable on catch-and-shoot situations. And the call will be against Romello Ball. That's foul number two for him. And here is Vassell. He's got eight. Up 
recovered by Miller. Back to Vassell. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Now it's a four-point San Antonio lead. Hornets have gone four of ten in the second quarter from the field. And it's Vassell with the foul. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Taken third overall in 2020. LaMelo Ball is a unique player. Like his brother Lonzo, very tall at the point at 6'6", and he'd much rather pass it than shoot it. 23 seconds left in the second quarter. The cell, no good. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. First personal foul. No good on the free throw. And working sure. Kevin themselves Miller. to the line here in the second. The A nice way to get your offense going. We've got 13 seconds left in the first half. To the right side. Wide open. And no good that time. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, the issue has been money from that range. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Spurs lead by one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. We've reached half. A pretty close game for the Spurs throughout the first quarter. They kept at it on both ends of the floor. That about wraps. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Really an incredible game from primetime. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. They're asking a lot of him, shouldering the load in a number of areas. You just hope he has enough left at the end. On the court for the Hornets, the guard pair, Ball and Rogier. Miles Bridges is out there with Miller, and it's Williams at the center, filling out the middle. Miller surveying the floor. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to go on Keldon Johnson. Clearly a foul. He misses the free throw. And he's taking care of the hard part tonight, which is getting to the line. But, but he hasn't finished the job once he gets there. He wanted to get his team the lead. And even though he didn't, he should feel good. At least he tied it up. Now, here's Vassell. Defense right on him. Jones next for two. No good that time. And the Hornets now going the other way. Following this one, they get to host the Pelicans. That game is the first and last of their home schools. Just rising up with purpose. Allow Bridges to get this kind of positioning. He is going to hammer it home. Collins passes to Vassell. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Vassell's got it all tied up now for the Spurs. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Here's Ball. Williams trying to break free. Ball with the bucket. Ball's got 13 points. And he's really a smart offensive player. You have to respect Ball's strong sense for when to take that jump. Here's Vassell. Williams with the block. They retain possession. Second chance effort. And it's out of bounds. The Spurs able to retain possession here. Remain San Antonio ball. Four on the clock. Here's Wimbanyama. Gets the bucket and the foul. That's on Miles Bridges. Great ball movement there by Keldon. Making the smart play. The Spurs have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. And that one misses. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. Ball, the pass to Bridges. It's tipped. He 
here's Wem Banyama. Defended by Bridges. Wem Banyama heads the bucket. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Back to ball. Pass to Rozier. Fires high post. He hits the back Lillard iron and ball. sinks the shot. He's got 15. They're doing work. Here's the second half. Three or four to start. The time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. To the Lavish fan. Show us what you got. San Antonio. Let's give it up for your Spurs. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Again, your Spurs. On the wing, Johnson. Collins against Williams. To the wing on the left. Here's Wim Banyama. No good on the triple. He's been of no help stretching the floor tonight. Just one three in the first half. Nothing in the second. Second. Points have gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. There's Ball with the three. Wim Banyama with the rebound. Wayne Banyama has got 11 rebounds in the game. Lamelo Ball. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. Second team foul. At the line for San Antonio, Trey Jones. And that one falls for Jones. And so Jones nails both of them. Charlotte Trailer. And there's the call on Jones. That's his third foul of the game. Yeah, clearly struggling here with the foul. Still early. And just one more will put him over the limit. Miller outside. Back to ball. Miller outside. Six to shoot. Johnson against Ball. They get it back. Bridges outside. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. It's Jones on the way. He's covered by Ball. Here's Wem Banyama. 20 points for him. Outside, Ball to the middle. Rozier. It's nice to see Rozier being the aggressor, dictating the action, putting the defender on defense. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Edmund Sumner's checked in for the Hornets, and he sinks the second. San Antonio leading. Here's Wem Banyama. Pass to Vassell. Here's the three. Good for another field goal. Number five on the night. Five for ten shooting. Woo! He got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. And how about the balance and focus? Knock Bridges around all he want, but he is determined to score. Here's Jones. He's got five. to Vassell. Beyond the arc. Ball with the rebound. The Hornets have gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. That gives them the lead. Bridges, Bridges has got 13. Just so precise off the pass. I, I like how Bridges prepares himself to shoot as the ball is coming his way. Jones looking for an opening. Here's Wim Banyama. And that comes off the assist by Jones. From Trey Jones. Jones has got four assists now tonight. Charlotte has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Here's Bridges, and it's slammed in by Bridges. A dangerous score from just about every area. Bridges very good at capitalizing in a number of ways. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. And you Third don't ever foul. want to get into the habit of Third letting the team. offense get to the rim. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Both shots good from the strike. Here's Ball. 
15 points in the game. And there's the call on Jones. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And due to the bonus, we will head to the line for two. Oh, no, he's the last guy you want to put on the line. You can just about book the points every time he steps up there. The Spurs making a switch here. Bassey's checked in. You know, Steve, the persistent growth of Keldon Johnson is pretty impressive. It is, Kevin. He is obviously receptive to good coaching and is committed to finding success here in the league. Almost across the board, you see his stats creeping up season to season. Here's Ball. Here's Richards. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. A great competitive game so far. And from the look of it, this one could go right down to the wire. Jones in the post, fended by Hayward, and that one's good. Bassey. Bassey's got his second basket of the night. High percentage look. This is what your offense is designed to do. Rogier for three. Here's Richards. Makes it off the glass. Nick Richards. We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Both teams putting forth their best efforts right now. This is the kind of game fans pay to see. Jones kicks to Johnson. Out left of the wing. He tries for three. Shot clock at six. Wow, through the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. That's on Terry Rozier. He hits the second from the line. And he nails the third. And this team will make you pay when they get chances at the free throw line. It's helped them pull ahead here today. From outside the arc, that falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Three. Ball's got his seventh assist in the game. Outside, Jones. Now the pass to Sohan. Back to Jones. Stolen by Ball. From 12 feet out, here's Richards. The shot from the low Nick post is Richards. good. And now a three-point Hornets lead. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle steps for the Hornets. Their activity has been at a constant level. Always around the ball, quick hands causing a lot of steals. And another thing, guys, they dominated on fast breaks tonight, outrunning their opponent the entire game. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Ball, the pass to Rozier. Now Hayward takes a three and another three for Charlotte. Hayward. Defensively, that's a lose-lose. You don't want to give Hayward that Two shot. He will bury it. Two Out to the right wing. Out to the right wing. A minute 50 left to play in the third to the inside. Sohan, and he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. Rozier finds Hayward, and it's the Hornets another three. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. He takes advantage of them in every way possible. And Greg, he lures them into a trap on the steal, and then bam, straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. Spurs trail by seven. On the wing, Johnson. Jones against Ball. Jones kicks to Johnson. Lock at six. Pass to Sohan. It's good with the assist that time from Johnson. Johnson's got three assists now in this one. Hornets leading by five. Stolen. In transition, here comes San Antonio. No good from outside. 
Charlotte has got more than a 50% success rate on their three-pointer since halftime. They're four of seven. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Yes, 72% from the line a season ago. Not the greatest of numbers, but there are guys who are far worse off. The line for two. Prime times checked in for the Spurs. And a switcher also for Charlotte. Miller's checked in for ball. And missing opportunities here to extend that lead at the free throw line this half. Johnson, the pass to Sohan. Here's Wem Banyama. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Miller's got his fourth rebound in this one. Hayward with the ball. And it's Johnson picking him up. Ogier. And he uses the glass on the lane. Ogier's got eight points in the quarter. Hard to imagine them losing this game if they can keep shooting like that. Inside. Got a piece of it. Here's Wim Banyama. Good on the shot. Wim Banyama has got 10 points here in the second half. So good at the rim. A slow defensive rotation leads to the easy lane. Shots continuing to fall as we conclude the third quarter. Both teams putting up points. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Sharing the wing spots, it's Vassell and Johnson. Prime time is out there with Collins, and it's Jones in at the one. That's the San Antonio five. Shot from 12. That's tipped. Now, here's Vassell. Covered by Miller. Johnson down low. From the baseline. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for the Hornets. Leading by five. Down low, here's Miller, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. How about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. And the Hornets making a change here. Williams has checked in. Outside, Jones. Pass to Vassell. From past the arc, and that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got assist number seven for him tonight. The defenders need to recognize the importance of staying on him as we get into crunch time. And now here comes Jones leading the break. Some solid defense from Rogier. Hornets leading by five. Miller finds Bridges. And it's slammed in by Bridges. He just can't teach that size. Bridges has the wingspan, those broad shoulders, just a tremendous rebounder for a wing. Jones in the post. He's against Bridges. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, both teams trying to close out strong. These are the fireworks that fans came to see. Passes it to Wembanyama. Doubled by Bridges. On the wing, Johnson. There's the triple. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. Something's going, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. Charlotte calls timeout. A mellow ball. He's checked in for Nick Richard. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David. Hey, Kevin. Well, look, here's what Steve Clifford went over with his guys during the break. He said, I love how we're shooting the basketball. You guys have been locked in from three. Just keep taking makeable shots. If you don't have it, pass it to the guy who does. Kevin? Thank you, David. Outside, Jones, stolen by Ball. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Fourth personal foul. Second team foul. And he makes the first. Shooting for Charlotte. Romero ball. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Spurs trail by three. And another turnover here by San Antonio. Careless turnover. You lose focus for even a moment in this league. 
That's the result. And the replay demonstrating once again how aggressive that defense was. And that is a huge block. Given how close this game is, a stop like that was right on top. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. A sharp pass to set up that high percentage shot in close. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. Ball finds Rozier. Collins against Williams. Back to Rozier. The pass to Williams. Six on the shot clock. There's the lob to Bridges. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Good anticipation from this crafty wingman. Bridges enjoys taking chances and going for the alley-oop. Jones against Ball. Vassell, the pass to Wembanyama. Lays it up and picks it in. Wembanyama has got six in the quarter. He has gotten into a terrific groove here, trying to wheel his team back into this. Pass to Ball. And it's Bridges at the elbow. From 15 feet away, Collins grabs the miss. Collins has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Here's the cell and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Fourth personal foul. First team foul. That one is off. At the line for your Spurs, Devin Bissell. And the second free throw, good. Only down two now, but that miss might come back to haunt you. If they don't get a stop, it's back to a two-possession game. Ball, the pass to Bridges. Back to Ball. Off target with his three. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. Vassell, the pass to Wembanyama. It's good. This game is all even. 34 points for prime time. It's just what the doctor ordered here. Boy, have they needed him here in the fourth. Outside, ball. Now, here is Miller. Back to ball. Fires for three. That's in. Coming off an assist from Miller. Miller's got three assists in the game. Yeah, how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here? in the second half. And the basket by Vassell. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for Charlotte. It's a one-point game. And it's Vassell with the foul. That's it for him. He's fouled out of the game. And that is a big loss for this team. This game's still in the balance, and he's someone they always want in there at crunch time. Miller kicks the ball. And it's blocked. They get it back for three. Collins grabs the miss. Man, at what point do you blame the play calling more than the player? Jones, the pass to Wembanyama. To the left wing to take the lead. The Spurs getting another chance here. Second shot opportunity. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. The Hornets have gone 5 of 12 from the field entering the fourth quarter. Ooh, love it. Love it. Oh, just an impressive dunker of the basketball. I love how Bridges just takes the initiative and gets funky with his throwdown. Ball against Jones. How's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. My goodness, he is such a great dunk. Craig, a high riser, no doubt about it. Ball, the pass to Miller. Addition now to Williams. Pass to Rozier. Fires the three. Rebound, San Antonio. Jones with it. 
gives it to Wembanyama. Uses the glass to finish the win. Wembanyama has got 38 points. There's a certain resiliency to this team, and you're starting to see it. Well within striking range. Now is when you have to lock in at both ends. Here's Ball. Bridges finds Miller. The 10-footer. And it's off the back rim. No good. San Antonio's gone 2-3 in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. San Antonio, San Antonio calls timeout. timeout. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Primetime. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game, and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. He's the guy they want with the ball. To the middle. Here's Bridges. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Bridges has got eight points in the quarter. There's a fearlessness that Bridges brings to this team. He just welcomes the chance to take important shots. Jones with it. And it's Miller picking him up. Mbanyama passes to Sohan. The pass to Wembanyama. Oh, good with the triple. Charlotte's gone into a fuck from downtown. The fourth only one of their five three pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. It's good to see Rozier improving as a playmaker. Passes like this help make his guys better play. Jones kicks to Johnson. Wembanyama passes to Johnson. Shot clock at five. Pass to Wembanyama. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the last shot. The kick out to Rogier. There's three pointers off the mark. Plenty of drama in this one so far. Yeah, don't be surprised if it isn't decided until the final buzzer. Here's Collins. There's 47 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Here's Sohan. Rogier defending. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Hate to see that. I know everyone's mind is on the play. But you got to protect the ball. Charlotte calls timeout. They're down by one. There's 38 seconds left in the game. Guys, what do you think? And usually you want to go for the two for one here to maximize the clock. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And just no fear, guys. I mean, he is willing to mix it up in the paint with the big boys. And Johnson with the stop. That is world class. Incredible shot with everything on the line coming through for his team. Charlotte calls timeout. They trail by three. 29 seconds left in the fourth. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Ball against Jones. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And this is who Ball is. A guy that embraces getting fouled and wanting to step it up for his team. Ball hits them both. 
Yeah, that's who you want stepping to the line when the game is close. And they commit an intentional foul. You see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. They had to foul him on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. You know, I can't say I'm all that surprised that pass resulted in a steal. That, that was a 50-50 chance of getting through at best. the trees Rozier has such confidence in his ability okay. to finish time called here the Spurs decide to talk it over they're trailing by one just four seconds left in the fourth quarter here's your thoughts and this is it guys down one they've got just enough time to work it around for a good shot and it better be a good shot because it's the only shot they have yes smart choice I really like that play and so it's San Antonio who's straight by with the win. That was a fun night of basketball. That was good as they continued to wait out until the very last moment to see it. And there are so many times when you see these tight games won at home, that advantage of having that crowd behind you oftentimes is the ultimate X factor. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long.